Well, speaking of going, Rance is always going, 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 and this time he went to Hawkers. Well, 2020, we are looking forward to some new experiences and we are getting close to the Lunar New Year. So I'm here with my man, Chef Alan Lowe from Hawkers. And you guys are big about the Lunar New Year, right? Absolutely. Celebrate it every year at every location. All right, before we get into that, because that is what all of this food is, it's about love. Let's talk about this Hawkers. We're in the Five Points location. And if you haven't been here in a while, mind blown, expansion. <laughs> yep, we just expanded an additional 900 square feet here. Uh, so we have an additional 24 seats in this uh, location, as well as a full liquor menu. We do all, all Asian craft cocktails now, all made by hand in-house. Dude, you just flipped the game over here. <laughs> <laughs> so you still get the same great food. Now you have some craft cocktails added into the mix, and you have more space, which is going to be perfect for your Lunar New Year celebration. So more Absolutely. people are going to be able to come in and celebrate. Absolutely. What's a celebration without a great cocktail, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> so what exactly is the Lunar New Year? You know, Lunar New Year is, uh, it's just a, it's, it's a new year based off the lunar calendar. Mm -hmm. So all of Asia goes off the lunar calendar and um, it is, every year is represented by a, a, a different animal. There's uh, 12 in the zodiac calendar. The, this year is the year of the rat. It actually starts the entire uh, um, rotation over again. Oh, nice. Um, and it's honestly, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a celebration of, of luck, wealth, prosperity. It's where you get all the families together. Well, full disclosure, I am into astrology and all that, and I am a water rat. What's up? <laughs> you know, this is going to be my year, people. You're the metal rat this year. <laughs> <laughs> so what goes down when you guys have your celebration? Like uh, you do the dance, the lion dance? So what we'll do at our stores and what's, what's tradition is it's a lion dance. It's usually um, people, it's almost like a aerobics or something. They'll come in, they'll do some crazy stuff, man. But anyways, they start at the door and we always hang a head of lettuce at the front door. And inside the head of lettuce, there's a red envelope. The red envelope is usually has, has, has some kind of money or gift inside for good luck. Um, so this lion will grab it and actually eat the lettuce but somehow he'll pick the red envelope out of it and he spits the lettuce back out. All right, now these dishes that we have in front of us, these are regular hawkers on, on the regular, on the regular on the, menu. But these represent good luck. Yeah, we hand selected the menus, uh, things off of our menu that we would normally eat at a reunion dinner. So, uh, you know, like things like the, the wontons and the dumplings here, they kind of represent uh, little gold nuggets, okay? So in, 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 in old times in Asia, little gold nuggets is what people kind of bartered with. Noodles, noodles is a big thing. It's because a noodle is, um, is long, so it, it, it represents longevity, right? For your health and uh, whatever. Um, we have seafood. Seafood is usually uh, uh, pretty expensive, so that kind of represents wealth and good luck. Um, so we always eat seafood for it. Uh, some of it is all, also direct translation in the Chinese language, like a like a homonym. Mm -hmm. um, we have a stir fried, uh, well, I'm sorry, wok fried lettuce there. Wok fried lettuce again, same symbolization as it is at the front door. It says it here. So if you say it in Chinese, the, the saying is sang choi. So if you say sang choi, the homonym to that is actually birth wealth. Chef, happy new year, good luck. Happy new year to you, thank you. 2020 is gonna be awesome. Topic like it's hot. That's my bag, baby. <laughs>